This is Dream Power Radio, the place where your dreams turn into reality. Here is your host, Debbie Specter Weissman. Hello, 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 and welcome to Dream Power Radio on the amazing Women and Men of Power Network, the world's leading positive programming network powered by Raven International. I'm your host, Debbie Specter Weissman, the Dream Coach. This is the show where we talk about dreams, both daytime and nighttime dreams, and how you can use them to make the internal shift to a life you love. And as always, I'm here to help you understand your dreams. So if you have a dream that's got you stumped, email me at Debbie at dreampowerradio.com. I can help you interpret your dream or answer any general questions you may have about dreams. So again, my email is Debbie at dreampowerradio.com. Our dreams can take us into so many different directions, including blazing our own path in the business world. In other words, becoming an entrepreneur. The dictionary defines an entrepreneur as someone who organizes a business and takes on greater than normal financial risks to do so. I think this defines my guest, Camille Leon, who, having nothing more than an idea, created the Holistic Chamber of Commerce. Not only an organization full of entrepreneurs, but a movement with national and international chapters. She's also the author of several books, including False Starts, The Misadventures of Transformation, and is a noted coach and speaker. So with that, I'd like to welcome to Dream Power Radio, Camille Leon. Hi, Debbie. Thank you so much. That's, it's always fun to hear how people frame who we are and what we do and uh, blessings because that was a brilliant frame. Well, I hope I did you justice. But Camille, you know, you did something pretty <laughs> remarkable. You took an old institution, the Chamber of Commerce, and stood it on its head. For those who may not be familiar with it, could you explain what the Holistic Chamber of Commerce is? Sure. We are a network of members uh, who take a holistic approach to health, wellness, life, and business, as well as a network of chapters for live local meetings to, you know, create a support system for ourselves. So and to expand our reach. Good. Well, how did you come up with this idea? It was uh, it was actually a gift. A medical intuitive came to me and asked for help starting a local only holistic chamber of commerce. We did that for about a year, and I was interested in expanding it into an international network and he had other priorities on his plate so uh, we went different directions and nine years later here we are hmm. and it is something because i met you when you were just starting out and i think there were at that point just three chapters in the los angeles area and now it's expanded you know, nationwide internationally uh, how were you able to convince others that this was a good idea and that they should come aboard? <laughs> I have no, no, <laughs> I was about to say, I have no idea. Um, I think that it's an idea that attracts others. I think there are a lot of holistic professionals out there that feel a little overwhelmed, right? You're an expert in dreams and in dream, dream interpretation. That's different than being an expert at building a business. But if you want to be successful as one, then you also need to be able to build the business. And, uh, and so I think once I really got a grip on that, that we just started attracting more and more people that wanted to be a, be a part of it. I tell you, this is so true because uh, 
you know, having your own business, uh, starting one like, like mine or like so many other people, you're really not like you feel alone a lot of the times. And that's why one of the great things about this organization is that you get to feel that there are others in it with you. It's, uh, you know, it's overwhelming the amount of things we have to do as entrepreneurs and also the amount of input and advice we get. Oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. Oh, have you done this yet? Uh, which, by the way, let me just say, you don't have to do it all. Um, but certainly for people who are working out of a home office or are doing something that's a little bit different than everybody else they know, yeah, you end up really feeling like you need and want a support system of people who get what you're doing. Well, this is certainly something that the Holistic Chamber of Commerce does. Can you explain some of the services that it provides? Uh, sure. So one of the things we do is we have a website that uh, makes it easier for mainstream consumers who maybe have never tried chiropractic or acupuncture or essential oils or who have started having dreams but uh, aren't quite sure what to do with their dreams, right? So we help them find holistic professionals who can help them with whatever personal transformation item has come up for them. And then for our members, we're providing business discounts and also a support system for, I call it business building brainstorming. It's not just one answer, it's giving you a few options so you can figure out which solution is gonna be best for you. This is so true. Uh, it's often very hard for somebody who has an idea to, to start a business uh, to really know all the things about running a business you you you're an expert in what you do for instance you know a chiropractor is very good at being a chiropractor but may not know the basics of you know setting up an office or uh promoting themselves and and these are some of the things that that the uh holistic chamber of commerce can provide isn't it yeah uh it's also you know do i need a website which social media should I be on? Uh, do I really need to be on all of them? The answer is no, you don't need to be on all of them. You should be on some of them. Uh, you know, so it's, it's that there's a big mix of things involved in getting going. If you're going to help heal people in whatever way, and I say, you know, mind body spirit business budget planet a bookkeeper helps heal my business right my bank accounts um and at the same time i also want a massage therapist to keep my body healed right and we're creating that bridge so that the healing professionals can also get healing for their business. Well, in starting any organization or business, uh, there are going to be surprises, both good and bad ones. Uh, one, un what unexpected things <laughs> happened as a result of creating the HCC? I hear you laughing there. Oh, you know, oh, gosh. So it's funny because when you start a business, all you can think about is growth. Oh, I want more customers. I want more clients. I want more patients, which is true, by the way. That's what pays the bills. That's what allows you to spend your time doing what you love and what makes a difference in this world. Uh, but nobody told me as you grow, you'll get more voicemails. You'll get more emails. You'll have to upgrade your website. Eventually, you're going to want to hire professionals. So not only are you trying to pay yourself, but you're scraping together the money to pay for all these other things and these other people. So I think the first surprise was that it was going to, I needed to make more money than just enough to pay my own bills. I had to make enough money to uh, bring in 
professional support. I mean, yes, it's lovely to have volunteers and it's lovely to have interns. And at, the, at a certain point, if you're really doing things on a day-to-day -day basis, you need that dependable consistency of there's somebody showing up in addition to me on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think that was probably the first surprise is, oh, this is going to cost more money than I thought. It always costs more money. <laughs> Whatever you budget, it's always going to yeah. cost more money. I think that's rule number one about anything, whether it's your business or your household or, or whatever it is. But what, what about some of the good? I mean, were, were there things that surprised you in a good way when, when this sprung into oh, life? Oh, you know, um, yeah. So I think one of the, and this is an ongoing surprise and blessing. Um, for me, the original seed had a lot to do with our online directory. So for me, I always thought that the online directory was kind of the cool thing that we were doing because we checked references on our members, right? And at a certain point, we had uh, a couple of members who I started talking to. What do you like best about your membership? And they were like, I really like the community. I get a lot of support when I go to my local chapter meetings. When I'm in the Facebook group, I can reach out to all sorts of people and get their thoughts, their insights, their ideas when I have a business building question. But the word I heard over and over again was community. And I think for me, that was the big surprise was it actually isn't about what I initially thought it was going to be about. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, Cause I'll tell you, you know, when I first met you, I, it was before I had started my dream work and uh, you know, I was doing something totally different. And when I did, you know, become certified as a dream life coach, one of the first things I thought of doing was joining the holistic chamber of commerce. And uh, for me, it was, one of that, the main reasons was community, was to get to know other people who were around me who were like-minded, uh, you know, not necessarily doing dream work, but were doing things that were compatible with dream work. And, and I tell you, that's one of the, the best things that, that I found being a member. And this was, of course, back when I lived in California, and uh, I had several chapters to go to. So I was able to, you know, expand my reach, <laughs> you know, get some, some, to meet some yeah. people. Uh, now that I'm living in, you know, the country in New York, uh, it's a little bit more difficult to be on a daily basis with uh, holistic members because there is no chapter around me. But like you said, maybe I can start one. <laughs> well, we have actually a lot of people starting them these days. Because we're now, I mean, so this is our ninth anniversary this month, and we're at just about 67, we're almost at 70 chapters. I was about to say 67, might as well be at 70. Uh, we just got a new chapter sign up in Maryland. I've been speaking with a couple of potential chapter presidents in Connecticut and Virginia, you know, when you think about an organization like Rotary Clubs or Toastmaster Clubs, right, you understand the power of that network of live local chapters and also the power of all of those members. Um, I think of us as a bowl of water for fish out of water. Explain what you mean by that. I think sometimes when you're a solopreneur, uh, an entrepreneur who maybe used to work full time for a company and is now uh, going out on your own, or maybe an entrepreneur who has spent a lot of time at home raising a family and now your family is growing up and you get to take on a new project, which becomes a business, that um, you feel like a fish out of water. And the Holistic Chamber of Commerce comes to town, and all of a sudden, you found your bowl of water. So it, that's what it feels like to me, and I think that's what our community is a lot about. I, I You're would not agree. in it alone. 
Yeah, I would agree with that. And with that, we're going to take a short break. We are speaking with Camille Leon, the founder of the Holistic Chamber of Commerce on Dream Power Radio. And we'll be right back. When is a car not a car? When it shows up in your dreams. Cars are one of the most common dream symbols. If you don't know why you're dreaming about cars or any image, it can leave you confused or scared. But that dream could be a solution to a pressing problem or an insight into a solution that's been bugging you for years. Go to my website and sign up for a complimentary discovery session, and I'll help you understand why a dream is a terrible thing to waste. Go to thedreamcoach.net for more information. Welcome back to Dream Power Radio with your host, Debbie Spector Weissman. Yes, welcome back to Dream Power Radio. I'm speaking with Camille Leon, the founder of the Holistic Chamber of Commerce. And Camille, in order to turn the idea of the Holistic Chamber of Commerce into reality, you had to take a leap of faith. Now, it sounds easy, just do it, but we know there's a lot more involved than that. So explain what it means for you to take a leap of faith and how you did that. I think for me, taking a leap of faith is doing something where I can see my vision, I can see my dream, but I'm not quite sure of all the steps to bring that vision or dream to life. I just know the first few steps. Um, Frankly, the dream for the Holistic Chamber of Commerce started the initial leap of faith started before the HCC was even an idea uh, because I was being pushed out of my old corporate job. Um, Not that anybody was trying to push me out, but it was no longer comfortable to be there. You know, uh, when you (laughs) leave the office every day and you're just like, Oh, why do I keep doing this? Oh, this doesn't work anymore. And you know that it's it's really time for you to evolve into something new and different. So that was the first leap of faith was this old job isn't working for me anymore. And even though it is paying my bills um, and creating a comfortable lifestyle, I really need to move on. Uh, So the first leap of faith for me was jump out of the job. And I think by the time the Holistic Chamber of Commerce was an idea for me, I was so ready for what is a clear vision, what's going to be my next step. And so that was it. I just was like, I got to keep going. Okay, so, uh, you know, so I'm in the middle of trying to figure out this. I don't work for somebody else. I now work for myself. Uh, Wow, that's messy, by the way, figuring that out. And um, I was kind of given this idea for, again, it was a local only holistic chamber of commerce, but it, it grew. You know, when we talk about the law of attraction, what are you attracting? Like, right away, we were attracting people who were coming to the first meetings. And when we started saying, ah, sign up for your membership, people started signing up. So that leap of faith started pulling me forward. Here's your vision, and we're going to start feeding it, because we were attracting right off the bat. When you started into this and and just you know, getting it all, you know, off the ground. Uh, Did you ever have any fears? And if so, how did you uh, get over them? Uh, I, I, so fear, I would love to say I, over all of my fears, but no, fears come up on a regular basis. Um, I think some of the early fears were uh, things like, for this to work, we have to charge for it. And are people going to pay me for membership in something that they've never heard of before? And frankly, in the beginning, and I didn't know this when I started this, I knew that mainstream consumers were going to have a lot of questions about holistic health and wellness because a lot of them have never tried 
what we're advocating. Um, but I didn't realize that a lot of holistic practitioners were going to say things like, well, I'm not really in business. So then the fear became, well, if my, mem my potential members don't think they're in business, are they going to actually sign up? And what I found was that it's really, a lot of it's all around communication, right? So as I find better ways to communicate who we are and what we're doing, uh, it makes it easier for me to get out of the fear because people start signing up, right? Now I don't have to cold call people. They call me or they come to the website or they email or they go to a meeting somewhere. So now my fears are things like, do I have enough time? Uh, if I don't have enough time, can I afford to hire somebody to do this or that? Or can I find somebody to hire who's both affordable and will give me the quality that I need and want? Also, it's sometimes it's fear around, well, I'm doing more videos now. And that's a little scary uh, because it's, you know, it's just an extra level of um, visibility, but it, it just feels a little scary. Like it's me, this is me, right? I don't get to hide behind an email. I don't get to hide behind, here's my picture. It's really getting out there at a higher level. And yet when I sit down here and I have a conversation like this with you, it's wonderful. And I go, oh, what, I, what was I even afraid of? I think that's the thing about fears is that uh, it's always, you know, this fear of the unknown when you, you, you make up stories about, oh, the worst thing that's going to happen. But if you start to think yeah. about it is, you know, why would the worst thing happen, you know, in, in the case like this, in the case of what you're doing, you know, you say communication is important, preparation is important, and uh, these things help mitigate those fears. But there is one fear that I, that I do want to talk about a bit, which is about the I whole idea of being an entrepreneur or a solopreneur to begin with. Do you think that anyone is capable of taking this on in their life, or do you think it takes a certain kind of person? I think that anyone is capable of taking this on. Uh, I think there are certain personality traits that make it easier for some people than others. However, I think we all have different strengths. And as long as you start looking at your strengths, it becomes possible for you just as possible as it is for anybody else Frankly, uh, given the wide variety of members that we have in the HCC, I can tell you, virtually anybody can do this. We have members who are in their 20s. We have members who are, believe it or not, in their 80s. Uh, we have had members who have shown up with different health conditions. And they're still doing what it takes to figure out how do I play this game called being in business? Is there any profession uh, or any member who's, who's in a profession in the HCC that, that surprises you or you find like the most unusual or something you would not have expected? Oh, <laughs> uh, the first time we had an attorney uh, sign up for membership, I was surprised. I was like, oh, oh, there's a holistic approach to uh, being in the law. And frankly, now I recognize, right, there are divorce, family law attorneys who are really looking to create win-win relationships in divorce. Um, there are contract attorneys who are writing, you know, contracts and agreements that create win-win situations for the companies involved. We also now have, I think, at least two members who um, sell motorcycle parts, uh, motorcycles, and, uh, and run uh, repair shops, which I think is great because as we 
heal from our past, we've got to replace that pain with fun and with joy, right? So, I mean, that's a lot of fun if you're getting out on a motorcycle. Um, so uh, those have been some of the surprise uh, member types. And I, and I love it. Well, it's great to have that kind of community. I mean, uh, holistic people need holistic motorcycles too, I guess. Yeah, well, it's just, you know, it's just saying, oh, I can live this life and I can have some fun. It doesn't have to be all about the pain anymore. Uh, and I'm not sure that pain ever goes entirely away. But as we, you know, as we evolve, uh, we can let go of that brokenness and the heartbreak. And we can really step into more, oh, what would be some fun? How can I add some joy to my life? You uh, have said that you followed your dreams in creating the HCC. And since this is a show about dreams, I just have to ask you, do you are you an active dreamer? And do you remember your own nighttime dreams? It's, uh, it's funny that you ask because, you know, I was thinking about this show and I was like, wow, because I don't remember many of my dreams. Every once in a while, I will wake up with a sense of my dreams. Like I'll either wake up with a sense that I had a visitation from somebody that's in my past, or I wake up with a sense that I had a dream about uh, some future, oh, what would I call it? Some future event that is kind of taking shape. It's like I can feel certain things taking shape in my nighttime dreams so that when I wake up, I have that residual feeling, um, even though I don't have a strong memory of what the dream was about. Well, I encourage you to keep a journal next to your bed and, and write down those dreams when you do remember them and, and work with them because uh, they could give you some more guidance on how to expand the HCC even further. So with that, I do want to ask you, uh, what's next? What's coming up for the Holistic Chamber of Commerce? <laughs> so um, we are uh, always uh, working on how do we expand our network of members and chapters. But the thing that I have just started working on, uh, as I mentioned, this is our ninth anniversary, which means October 2020. Yes, that's 10 2020 is our 10th anniversary. And so I think really what's next for the HCC is going to be putting together a grand celebration and party retreat uh, where we really bring uh, members together from all over the place. That will be so cool. And we're starting to plan that now. Uh, detail, details coming soon to be announced. Um, I think the other thing that uh, is really already in the works is uh, we've been on Facebook, we've been on LinkedIn, uh, we have a couple of other social media profiles, but we're starting to put more out on YouTube because a lot of people really are on YouTube and want that connection, right? YouTube gives us a connection to whoever the person is on the other side of the screen. And we want to be there representing all of our members representing what it means to be holistic and um, giving people that kind of that personal introduction to how do I step on this bridge from where I am to where I'm going and what are some ideas for me to get from here to there. Okay, well, how can people learn more about the Holistic Chamber of Commerce and about you? Well, uh, you are all invited to what I call the longest domain name in the world, holisticchamberofcommerce.com. Uh, our main office line is 310-490-6862. And uh, those are the two best ways to reach us. If you are on Facebook, you can look me up, Camille Leon. If you are on LinkedIn, also look me up because I'm there as well. Um, oh, and did I just mention YouTube? Because we are also on YouTube, youtube.com slash Holistic CC. And uh, those are the best ways to get connected with me and with us. And we really 
you keep expanding because the more the merrier, the bigger the better. That is fantastic. Well, Camille, thank you so much for being on Dream Power Radio today. We've been speaking with entrepreneur and the founder of the Holistic Chamber of Commerce, Camille Leon. I hope you've enjoyed today's program. Until next time, sweet dreams, everybody. You've been listening to Dream Power Radio with your host, Debbie Spector Weissman. For more information on Debbie or to sign up for her newsletter, go to dreampowerradio.com. This has been Dream Power Radio on the amazing Women and Men of Power Network, the world's leading positive programming network, powered by Raven International.